So you want to make a lot of money. I took a poll on Instagram that says, which would you prefer? More money or work-life balance? And you said more money. I just want to share with you a story of more money. I was at a job that, you know, sometimes a lot of us, we work at a job and we always feel like we're worth more. We feel like we should have more money. So I had this hustle that I would do. This is, this is cool shit right here, right? So any job I work in, after I'm there for a year, maybe it's kind of like poor talk, whatever, right? After I'm there for a year, I always go to my um, manager and say, hey, look, I like a raise. And most of the time they're entertaining and they'll say, you know, well, what are you talking about? And I usually say $5,000. Now, for some of you, you may say like, what am I going to do with $5,000? But to me, $5,000 is like just enough for you to bump up your wardrobe and get a nice dinner, right? That's, that's just about enough that it is right there. Because after, you know, 2,500 taxes, whatever. But I always felt with that number, 5000 because most people are less likely to say no. So I'm in this one particular job, and I was told we do not have that amount of money in the budget. So I'm like, damn. Now, take a step back. I should have been more grateful because I started as a temp, and as a temp, I thought the position paid 70000 but the agency, their fee alone, I want to say, was about 25000 Right, which is probably unheard of, but they took twenty five thousand, and I thought I was going to get the full seventy. So I started out as a temp, and I worked in that role for about uh, three and a half months. So the, the maximum amount of time that you could do as a temp is, I think, four months or something like that. Then after that, they have to offer you the position. So I go there, I come in with my little suit and tie every day, look kind of fresh, you know want to make a good impression, wanting to do my job. Now, mind you, this is uh, higher education. So higher education is, is similar to city jobs. You know, you, 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 you get your job responsibility, you come in, you do exactly what you're supposed to do, and you leave. You don't do more than that. Me being bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, I came in there with my shirt and tie on, and I'm willing to do extra work and come in early, and everybody's looking at me side out like I'm crazy. I digress. I'm over the position after interviewing for it. And I stay in that role for about two years. Again, go to my boss and say, hey, I like a raise. They're like, we don't have it in the budget. I'm like, all right. Now, by this time, I'm fully in the position and I'm making 70K. Cool. You don't want to give me the extra five so that I can get 75. So one day during lunch, I heard that another department was hiring. And apparently this department paid higher than the department that I was in. So I'm like, cool, let me make the power move. The person calls me and asks me a question about the role that I was in. And I said, hey, look, you know, I heard you had a, a, a position open. You know, I'm interested. And they're like, well, do you have that experience? I'm like, yeah, sure, of course. So I apply for the position and I get it. Now, it's a lateral move, which means... My, my, my pay is the same, so I'm going from 70 to 70, but the department was known for growth potential and paying out a bonus. So now, I move over to this department, and the same strategy that I used in the first role, coming in with the, with the suit and tie and coming in, I would come in intentionally 15 minutes earlier and leave 15 minutes later. And I had my, my, my little tie on and my, and my white shirt, and they loved it. They ate it up. They thought I was like, man. Needless to say, three months, I got my $5,000 raise, and I got a title change. Boom. I'm making seventy five. dollars I think I'm balling. My wife and I, we're having the best time. So we're exactly like I said, we're able to dress a little fresher. And now we want to rekindle the flame in our marriage. So we're able to go out on Friday nights get some cocktails and maybe have a little light dinner, come home, do a little and everything's good. Like I'm telling you, like life was good at that 75K. Now, 
The person that hired me turned out to be a Tasmanian devil. He used to say to me things like, um, you must think you want a vacation. Uh, he would say things like, you ain't pick enough cotton today. Now, I know for some of you, this is going to sound like I'm joking. But as we say around the way, I'm dead ass serious. This is no joke. This is the way he would talk to me, right? Oh, you think you special. Needless to say, you know, he was another brother. You want somebody to kiss up to you and tell you that you're doing good. Well, I'm not going to do that to you. I'm like, all right. So turned out I started getting high blood pressure. And I wanted to kick his ass, but I know if you put hands on somebody, you're going to get in trouble. So I don't do that. So what I started doing, I started running. So for those of you who wonder how I got into running, I was running so that I wouldn't run up on this dude and beat the shit out of him. That's why I started running. So every time I, I would run, I would get tired. And I ain't going to say his name, but I will get tired. Be like, man, I would just kick his ass right now. And it would always help me do an extra lap. So that's how I shifted that aggression into something positive. Boom. This dude winds up getting into a lawsuit, loses his job. Now, he's out. Me and another colleague has to split his responsibilities. We doing it for like a good three months. We like, yo, went to the went to the boss, like this ain't this ain't cool. So they were like, you know what? We know we're gonna give you ad comp. So yo, the ad comp was sweet, right? Cause now I jumped from 75k, I wanna say. It was, it was, it was, it was about 82. It was about 82. All right. It was 82. Yeah. 82 case. So now I came at 70, 75. Now I'm at 82. The work is grueling, right? The work is grueling. The pressure is on, but the money is good. The money is so good. Now we've gone from being able to eat and get a nice outfit to being able to take a vacation, right? Cause you got that little extra, you know, extra little $12,000 in your pocket. He's, he's feeling real good right now. So I'm getting stressed out. I'm like, yo, I'm like the rest of you. I can make more money. So I didn't really like the way they was treating me. So I found out another spot was paying 85K, right? Going back to the whole 5K thing. So I get online with them and um, did a phone interview. And they're like, yeah, 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 yeah. We like you, you know? I said, well, how much do I pay? They said 85. I said, cool. So I went to my boss and I said, yo, I did some old like basketball recruiting type stuff. I'm like, if you don't like my talents, I'm gonna take it to South Beach in so many words, right? So they were like, no, 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 no. We were gonna talk to you, we're gonna bless you, and everything's gonna be cool. So they come back. They come back like, yo, we're gonna give you 92. So I'm like, yo, you see the hustle, right? Boom. 70, 75, 82, 92. I'm good. Me and my homegirl, we good. We both got our little raise. We got our little titles. We good. But the work is kicking our ass. It is just bananas. Now, my homegirl that was there with me decides to leave. She's like, yo, I don't like this boss. I don't like the way you're treating me. Whoop, 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 whoop. So I'm like, all right, I understand you're going to make the power move. She leaves. The same day that she leaves, the afternoon, my boss come to me like, yo, I want to talk to you. I said, what's up? She said, I want to offer you a director's position. I'm like, eh, I don't really know if I'm cut out for this. You know, I got to discuss it with my wife. She said, I'm going to give you 120K. I'm like, I'm going to try to play it off, right? I'm like, let me think about it. Give me the weekend. I'm, I'm going to think about it because it, it's a lot of work and this isn't what I really do, but I'm going to think about it. Now, I come back on Monday. I'll take the role. One of the worst decisions that I've made in my life. The worst. While the interaction with the team and building systems and helping improve workflow process was great, I'm back in a situation where I'm working with somebody that just, you know, different people, they have different styles and they have different communication styles. So if we can't even reach a common ground of how we communicate, it don't matter how much money the person throws at you. There's still a breakdown in communication. You're still going to feel a certain amount of stress. There's going to be a certain amount of pressure. Now, 
in the midst of all that, my mom gets sick, right? So long story short, my mom gets sick with cancer. Now the bills start coming in. The bills were like, shit, I want to say some of the bills was like 90 to like 120, that's my whole salary, right? So my salary can't touch that. She got her little pension. That ain't gonna do nothing. We had to let that go into, you know, write that off with, 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 with collections. So again, the money didn't take care of the illness. The money did not um, improve communication between me and this person. The money did not improve the relationship that I had with my family, with my wife and my kids, because now I'm starting to bug out. I feel this pressure. I'm walking around. I'm angry and all this. Where am I going? This is the circle back to say, if I had to go back to the first question that I started out with this on Instagram, what do I prefer, more money or work-life balance? Put me back at 75K with the work-life balance because put it this way, if you're not balanced where you are, no matter how much money you get on top of it, you're still unbalanced. And that's the point I want to make. This is Motivation and Confidence, where we help you do your daily best.